Hi, this is Carl Weiss from Skeeto. It's the evening of December 20th, 2012. And a couple of folks have written in asking about uh, what just happened in the S&P 500 futures markets and what we call the overnight markets. So we did, in fact, have uh, another flash crash. And uh, it's kind of interesting. You'll see the close uh, of today's trade in the afternoon. And you're looking at Eastern Time. We had some true reckoning and some buying that came in and pushed the markets up. Um, right here at the high, we did see some buy programs waning, and most notably, right after that, we did see a strong tape imbalance. And a strong tape imbalance is where we see uh, some discordance or incongruency uh, between order flow and price action. And what you're looking at is a four tick hybrid Renko bar. It's a pretty cool um, way to plot price uh, that we use here at Skeeto, the hybrid Renko bar. And you'll see a uh, price moved down pretty good. And let's just go through the action and see what happened. Uh, we had a true reckoning bounce up and then two back-to-back -back true reckonings come down with a little strong tape imbalance. So program slowed down a little bit. So program slowed down a little bit. Some tape imbalances came in, moved the market up, and true reckoning and then took it down. You'll notice that Mac Daddy in the lower pane is all red. And the market moved down, I think, to like the 1390 area. It looks like it ticked up 1391 or so is the low here. And um, what you saw is tape imbalance, tape imbalance, tape imbalance, and the bids being replenished. Uh, this is our algorithm that monitors, you know, the rate, the frequency, and the sequencing of how bids are filling in the order book, and uh, how trades are being executed. And you'll notice right here at the low, uh, what happened is you'll have multiple, a couple instances where our algorithms ticked out that the the, the bids were being replenished, and more tape imbalances, and then the market moved up. So let me move it up at a bigger or tighter charts you can see that. So we think the markets can be pretty dangerous places. We always encourage everybody to use your stops. We do encourage people to monitor order flow, monitor the bots if you're going to trade these markets. Uh, it's, it's our insights that the best way to trade is to trade with the bots, follow the bots. Uh, it'll be much safer for you than trading against the bots. This is Carl Weiss from Skeeto. Hope you enjoyed this video. Skeeto's Advanced Algorithmic Order Flow Data is now available within TradeStation, NinjaTrader, MultiCharts, and Sierra Chart. For more information, please visit www.skeeto.com. This is Cuerva from Skeeto. Happy trading!